What's up guys, welcome to the first episode of, I think it's the second but first, the first episode this of this season in Stoneheart. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. Well, hope you guys would enjoy the series since it's like a fresh start in the game. I've uh, picked a spot on the map that has a lot of ore and stuff so we can get into blacksmithing very fast. The last time I played the game was on a live stream, uh, I think Saturday's live stream we played Stoneheart the last two hours. If you guys are new to the channel, free free to drop a like, drop a subscribe, hit that bell icon to get notified whenever this video is on the channel. Also, I've dropped some new merch in the merch store, links down in the description. If you guys want to check out the new merch, it's called the Ashbosh Green. It's called the Ashbosh Green merch, so you guys can check that out down below in the merch store. So you guys can see I have on some Ashbosh Skin in merch. It was one of the limited edition merch that I had out in stores. It's no longer available since as of the sometime in April. I'm gone there. So anyway, if you guys want to get your hands on the merch, the link is down in the description. Let's get into some Stoneheart. It's not the first time I've played the game, but I really like this game. Like for a certain perspective of this game, why is the game... Yeah, sorry. Alright, so... <laughs> I went ahead and adjust some stuff in the game there. Just had some lag issues, performance issues. I went ahead and adjust some stuff and also added in the village. So we're starting off in this area. I picked this area because on the map it's it has a lot of ore, so we can get into black blacksmithing easier and we can get some um, better weapons faster. So we don't have to really go far to get like iron and copper and stuff. So it's like a good good part in the map is there's a lot of trees. So let's start off by harvesting some trees. We clear out this whole area. To start off. Strange bird has appeared. Let me know what you guys think of the I'm doing a let's play with the webcam on you should I only use my webcam to live stream but I'm trying something new well I did it a couple times before on my youtube channel and let me know if you guys want to see me continue the let's play series like with punish and stuff with the webcam on let's see what the strange bird has to say Yeah, 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 I just want to skip that whole thing because I know it's about the founding of the... Blah, let's see how fast we can skip that, right? So, official settlement declare and whatever. So usually I would go for the final strength. That gives you, let me scroll down so you guys can see. That gives you mining 50% more ore, stone, and clay. Hardlings no longer mine the cramped space. So that's a good one. I usually go with that one. And let's see. Let's see if we can think of a name. Hmm. 
Stoneville. It's a, it's a very genetic name, but yeah. Right, the official name of the outpost is Stoneville. So we have some trees now. To start off, we would want to um, start building some buildings and stuff. And the bird is still there, I didn't really notice them there. So let's go into the build menu. The reason I really like this game is the um, build style in the game. It's like a. They build every part of the building block for block, like Minecraft style. We have to build block for block, but it's like a miniature way of that. So let's put down some templates. First of all, we need some sleeping quarters. So I'll put down the shared sleeping quarters. And we need to go and get some jobs. So I'm gonna give him the carpenter job. We have two jobs right off the bat, based on what I picked. So we have a carpenter, which we need. Um, the other job is the farmer. The uh, farmer, I'm looking for a suitable right. Once they have the green thumb, they're really good at farming. That's the... Oops, it looks like we only have one person that has green thumb right now. Book. So that person is going to be a farmer. <laughs> I don't know which way they're going to farm up here. But as you can see, we already have ore. That's a good thing. That's why I choose up here. Because if you choose like in the green areas, it's really hard to get ore unless you come up to the mountains. And you guys probably already noticed that my voice is something weirdly put unusual. Um, yeah, I have ores. My voice is very, 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 very weird right now, like since last night. And I have to allergies also, so that's kind of the cause of the whole. Sources, that, and that. Then here we're going to put small thing here for food. Now, wild sword stay in the middle for a while. Let's create a farming area. Unfortunately, we can create farms up here. So, we have to go down here and create some farms. I think farms can be small, so 11 by 11 is the max size. We do some tunips. I'll probably do some digging there and build a kind of a stairs. So that'll be easier for those guys to come along here. And this one we do carts. Alright. <coughs> can also do the ladder. And build a ladder in the on there. And one there. This farmer can get on to what he has to do.
speed up the game a bit. I really love how they build scaffoldings to um, go up to the roofs and stuff. Alright, we wanna do another building. This is kind of an important building to start off with. After the shed thing, you'd want to have a carpenter's house so that you can start building like the window frames, the doors and stuff. I almost forgot what it was to rotate the buildings for a moment there. So the farmers, the, not the farmers, the, hold on, did I say farmers in the first place? The carpenter's house. So they start working on that once the carpenter has stuff to do. You level up. Then you need a mason, which should level up into a uh, pottery, whatever. Stoneville is officially founded, we're on a mountain. Um, has the builders built that ladder yet? No. They haven't built a ladder yet. Wow. So let's see. Right now they're building the carpenter's house and they share the sleeping quarters. So that should ease up some stress of not having somewhere to sleep. Let's see, does the carpenter already have a queue for they have a queue for everything that they need to build? All of our little trader with food arrived. We have 10 gold. What can we sell? We don't have much to sell, so. Our first day report, we have actually everything, so we can get another villager. Mel? Wow. It's interesting name. I just got a new furniture. Why are they taking so long to build that stairs? That ladder I meant to see. Hopefully once they're done with the sleeping quarters and the carpenter's hut. We should have less issues with getting like stairs and stuff. Um, is that one's trapped up there? I don't. Oh, he's talking from on the roof. She's talking from on the roof to the other one down there. We got a little dare. You know, here we are. I've got some of them trying to see. Very grimy how to approach. So there's the little humor that this game has. Like out of the blue there's like a, a very weird sense of humor. <laughs> the description of a day is grimy how to approach. 
Like seriously. <laughs> wow. Right, once they have done building the roof and stuff and they put down the um, carpenters bench he'd start building like the doors and windows and stuff so that you can complete the other buildings. That was the first building you need to put down if you're using this type of settlement. It's the um, carpenter's lodge or house, whatever it's called. I'd see if I can try my best to design some um, templates for you guys for buildings if you guys want some templates. It makes stuff easier for you guys to build. Uh, let's see if I can design some templates and put it up on the workshop for you guys. And unfortunately, as we have no beds, they're sleeping on the hard mountain floor of stone. Their backs are gonna hurt in the morning. Or whenever they wake up. And one is sleeping. On a ladder. Like, seriously? What is this? Clementine is sleeping on a ladder. Wow. Yes, your back must be hurting from sleeping on a ladder. Wow. Sense of humor in this game. Right, they should be done with the roof now. Uh, put down the carpenter's bench. Workstation. Once they put that down, workbench I meant. Once they put that down, which he's gonna do right now. The carpenter can start working on the rest of stuff. Oh, carpenter, where are you? Which one was the carpenter again? I forgot. Oh, it's himself. Who's that? I forgot his name. Up, 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 sup, up, up. Very good. Wow. Oh, whatever. When we find out his name, I think I can just do it for me. Let's see. The carpenter is. Basin. That's so. Weird name. So right now he's working on all this stuff to finish building the buildings up there. And they finally built the ladder so the farmer is down here plowing some land. Another trader has arrived with some very expensive stuff. Yeah, my allergies are really acting up right now. I can't buy those stuff. I'm not gonna waste my money to buy those stuff right now. When I have stuff to sell, gain some wealth, and then we'd study about buying stuff. Right now the carpenter is building all the stuff we need for the buildings to be completed. Please build another window frames and stuff. Hopefully he's done with that very soon. Alright, our second day. Okay, we made the networks, we made the food. 50, we... Uh, 50, we had 98, and we had... We have enough network for a good while. Blue was added to the settlement. So we now have seven people.
Right now I think he's building benches. Is that a bench? What's that he just built there? Well, we'll see. She's gonna put it down. Oh, looks like we'll never know. Alright, so I'll get back to you guys as soon as he's done building everything. This is gonna take a good while. <laughs> Alright guys, it took forever to actually get things done. What? I made like one of the biggest problem or issue is when you're building, the first building you're supposed to build was the carpenter's lodge, was the carpenter's um, house. Because without that, he, he can't finish build any other buildings. So, uh, I had to place every single, every single um, thing that I needed to finish the shared sleeping quarter across here. I had to place every single furniture into the building queue of the carpenter so if you guys are playing the game i would recommend that you guys place the carpenter building down first and don't don't do like me and and yeah that just like cost me a, a lot of time with stone here in case you need stone for something. So, I had to level up the carpenter to level 3 to actually finish off the carpenter stuff. Um, I want to build a... Should I actually put that in the build queue or actually make the carpenter build it? Right now he's working on the things for the dining hall. So during the course of me waiting for the carpenter to build every single thing, since you guys did not see that, um, during that course of that time I got raided like twice. I finally finished with the carpenter's house. I got raided twice. Within that time, um, I also made a... I also made a footman, so one of the villagers actually is guarding. I bought a... tool for the villager, so yeah. Um, yeah, we have to actually start one time while they're building that. Let's put, um... Uh, a mason's hammer in there so we can ha actually have a mason within the village and we can start a quarry about here let's make a small one it's about yeah, the 20 by 24 quarry Merchant just arrived, selling some clothes, I only have 12 gold on me, so goodbye. I right, saw so the quarry would be there. As soon as they're done building that building, they'd go on to dig in the quarry. We have enough some stone and ore and stuff, and then we can have a we can have a what you call a mason. Then when the mason levels up to I think level four, we can change him to a either pottery or something. But once we have a mason, we can get a blacksmith because we need a mason to um, build the blacksmith too. Strange enough. So 
once we get that mason I think we should after we built all the build all the shares for the um dining hall we should have a mason. Daily update, let's see if we made it yeah. No we didn't because we don't have enough food. That's a problem. That's a problem. We're getting a bit of coal lumps. Yeah. I'm clipping into the ground there with the camera. So we're getting a bit of coal and stuff in that coal right now. How are we doing on this side for this? So like the carpenter should still be working on some stuff. Yeah, he still has some stuff, four tables, one chair, and a door to create for that building, and then he would create the mason tool. It's the last chair you just created. Eh? I don't know why he continuously takes wood from there when there's wood stored here. I have no idea. There's a very 12 wood store there. But, oh. Okay, let me see. We probably would not make the next arm um, daily. Wait for a while. We have to get some more food, so... As we're on a mountain, it's really hard to get food. If we get like a hunter, we can get some more food that way. But first, we have to see... Let's clear out some trees down here. Uh, let's rotate that action. Let's clear out some trees down here so I can actually see what the farmer is up to. Bird has returned. Okay, looks like I trapped all my um most of my villagers down in the hole. Which I clearly did. Rotate, rotate. Trying to get the, the camera in this game is really weird to operate. Oh, let's get a ladder down here. <laughs> yeah, I trapped them down in the hole for some reason. As usual pattern with the episodes when I release the first episode of any game, I usually go over the 30 minute mark. What the hell was that? Okay, so they just place the door. the carpenter doing on everything. I think he's done building everything. Maybe. So he probably already built the two. Let's build a shield for the um he's not defending us right now.
right, we need someone to be the you. You're gonna be the um Mason. Can in fact what will you do? I just got clipped on the ground. I have to figure out the camera in this game. I keep forgetting the camera controls. Right, now that we have a mason, that building is done building. Let's um, construct some more. Wait, it's not. To me, it's done. I mean, let's construct some more. Um, Templates here. Now that we have a mason, we can build a mason's house. And put that. Now that the space down here is clear, we can put down some more farms, and we should hire another farmer. Alright, we have turnips and carrots, that's what is there. And also let's hire another farmer. Which means we need to build. Well, there's farming tools here. And hire another farmer. So that we get some more food. Right now we're lacking on food for the whole the daily updates we have we don't have enough food to last a while correct seeds And we actually made the just made the daily update so we got another person Seabird or however you pronounce his name uh, let's add another farmer I think he's done building that so. he's a builder Run. I'm gonna choose someone to be a farmer. Alright, so we have another farmer, she's gonna help keep our food in check down there. After we're done building the mason house, I would want to build So this mason house is actually a template from on the steam workshop. 
I don't remember exactly where it's from. Once this finished building that I can get a blacksmith and preferably build some a place for the blacksmith to be working. I'll probably build a custom place for the blacksmith. Depending on how stuff goes, hopefully we don't get any invasion soon. Alright, we have some more carrots. Those guys are building the mason house, so that's alright, guys. So <laughs> that was like a whole half an hour, like a whole video again, just waiting for them to build the um, mason's house. They still haven't finished the mason's house, but they just have a few things what I need the mason to be leveled up. So, what I did. Over the course of waiting, I just made a new template. I used the um, Mason's House template and I removed the stuff that it needs to be a Mason's House and I placed in a uh, cook's. So basically, I changed the Mason's House into a cook's house. So now there's. Well, we do have a cook in the um, village, so yeah. That's going on. They're right now, they're building the cook's house across there. It looks similar to the Mason's house, but with a little slight difference, as in the workbench and stuff is different. It still has the furnaces on above and by the door, but it wants this whole area, the area where the um, Mason will usually work, I changed that around. So yeah, there's a lot of time and waiting with this game, especially when you're building, you now starting off on building some buildings and stuff. We actually missed a couple daily updates. We got a few, like the last one we got, but two, be two times before that we missed it, so we didn't make it, so yeah. All because of food. I also added, well, I said I added a cook. I have promoted one of the farmers to a cook and I added a new farmer in this place. And I also added corn. A cornfield down here, so that's, that's something new. I know they're harvesting some carrots and stuff. I could in fact set the... Well, as you see, the cook also f helps farming once he's not doing anything to cook and stuff. So it's still a plus that I technically have three farmers, but one of them is a cook too, so... Seven herbs... Uh, okay. so yes. Let's see, daily update. Yeah, we made it this time again. Barely. Yeah, the required was 60, 160 food. We had 168, we barely made it. So I'm trying to get everything sorted out with food, food wise, so that we won't have to worry about that for a good while. So building this building should make the um, mason level up a couple because most of the windows and stuff are wood windows so the mason would have to build that. Hopefully he levels up and we can um, yeah hopefully he levels up and we can um, build 
the blacksmith hammer and finish the mason's house. Once we're done with that, add. can in fact build the blacksmith hammer. As soon as we get the. should be able to build that, I think. Because we need to have one of these. So we'll carry that up to the top of the queue. Did I not got it? Oh, Fregna. That once he builds that, we should have everything. Yeah. And now we can add a trapper. Add a trap house for that. Right. So the mason actually got leveled up within that time frame, so we can in fact get some more. Finish the mason's house, get a trap so we can catch them on some animals, and that would add to a food issue that we're having right now. Which would help us get in more villagers and so on and so on. On our quarry side of things, let's dig a bit deeper. see just before I wrap up the episode it's a really long one anyway I want to see if I can actually create an easier way for the farmers to get back up to the village so we're gonna do a bit of a I can't do that there because there's a tree Not the stairs is that big, but I know the stairs is at least four. <laughs> right now I'm trying to get behind the tree and for some reason I can't. see if we can fit in and stairs there hopefully next episode hopefully or this episode depending on how things go goes with time and stuff right 
I did it again. I got my villagers trapped down in the quarry. Again. Come on, finally adjusted. crafting two of those, seriously. Or well, we could always sell it when someone like this guy comes around. So we don't have no need for two extra daily updates. Oh uh, yeah, we didn't make food but we made um the rest. Alright, there was one that I already set apart to be a blacksmith. Uh, let me just find him. There he is, he's mining right now. Um, yeah, you're gonna be the blacksmith now. Promotion. He's gonna be the blacksmith. I am gonna do the same thing like I did with this one, but I'll leave most of this stuff from the mason. So I'm probably gonna build another copy of this, but as a uh, mason's nose. Why did I sell that one? Oh, frick. I am so silly. I sell the one of these. I sell one too much. I didn't realize it did not place on the um the thing. Wow! So now I have to build another one. It should give us the trappers. There. That's the only thing that we need to um, finish off the mason. Mason's house. We have two blocks and hammers. Weird. Did that guy already promote himself? No. He did in fact promote him to a blacksmith. Is there a bug right now with the... Or is it because he can't get out of the hole? Probably because he can't get out of the hole. <laughs> Uh. Alright, now you can get out of the hole and change the blacksmith. Oh, that was so friggin' funny. I trapped him in a hole and wondered why he wasn't getting promoted. Alright, now we have a blacksmith. Alright guys, time to wrap up the episode. As you saw, we got a lot of stuff done this episode. We got a blacksmith, we got a cook, we... What else we got? I think, yeah, we got a blacksmith and a cook. Mason. Some farmers, carpenters. A few, well, one footman. I can add another one, I think. But yeah. We have a quarry going in the corner. Next episode, guys, we will be building the um, blacksmith's building, which will be looking similar to the 
Mason and the Cooks building. Which it looks like they're both done. No, the Cooks one is still building. Are you kidding me? Do I really have to go and place that now? Yeah, so next episode we'll be dealing with that. But I try to this is down. Let's cancel that. And I don't know myself, I think I'm like right in that position. Alright, we place that down. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Stone Heart and the founding start of our village known as Stoneville. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to drop a like and a subscribe, hit that bell icon to get notified when more Stoneheart and Banish is released on the channel. Um, so far the plan for the boat series is to have it twice a week, every two weeks. So Banish would be next week. Monday and Tuesday and uh, the week after would be Stoneheart again so that's how the schedule would be for the uploads so feel free to drop a like and a subscribe and you guys would get notified when I release videos on the channel see you guys in the next one peace